Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're going to be doing a sandwich from our history, specifically one from Morgan Childs, who wrote in to share a sandwich that her granddad used to make. Uh, let's make the granddad sandwich. First thing we got to do is apply Coleman's mustard to bread. Coleman's mustard being a spicy British mustard. Then a thick slice of ham and thick slices of sweet onion. Okay, let's give this granddad sandwich a go. Coleman's mustard has quite the kick to it. So it is definitely punching through the sweet onion and the smoky ham, which I think is why he had the ham and the onions be so thick because that mustard could easily overpower But this is excellent. This is tasty. Uh, I'm not going to have the best breath afterwards, but uh, yeah. I do want to plus it up though. Add some Swiss cheese, a thick slice of tomato, salt, pepper, of course. Okay, let's give this granddad sandwich plussed up with a little Swiss cheese and seasoned tomato slice. Go. That is nice. Now I'm getting a little bit of nuttiness from the um, Swiss cheese. A little freshness and a little moisture from the tomato, a little sweetness. That's pretty good. I gotta say, the original granddad sandwich was very much a granddad sandwich. Big thick slices of sweet onion, big thick slice of ham, Coleman's mustard, big flavors in there. Uh, that was tasty. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Plus up a little Swiss cheese and a little seasoned tomato slice. Probably an eight. I'm definitely gonna finish it. Uh, and I would probably make the plus up version again, uh, but just know that that Coleman mustard, man, it packs punch. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow.